Hey everyone, I have a creation for your review. First though, I want to start with a uh, shout out to Seth Blaine. If you don't know who he is, why are you watching my video? Seriously, skip this, click this link, and check out his channel. Uh, I, I occasionally watch his Minecraft matches, and uh, one of the things that he's talked about for his matches is counters and clocks. Uh, he's done uh, a couple of things with using the, the uh, NPCs and so forth. Um, I also have recently seen some videos of using of people using Tripwire. I thought about this in uh, one of his uh, other recent uh, Olympic creations and thought, hey, wouldn't it be nice to have a, an in-game stopwatch? I did a quick look around and found several clocks, but all of them are one-second clocks. Uh, I didn't see anything sub-second. So what is this? This is an accurate sub-second, about 0 0.42 seconds per tick right now um, that uses very little CPU. You might say, what do I mean by low CPU? Well, no pistons. Uh, anybody, who's tr anybody who's tried to make large machines with pistons knows they can cause quite a bit of lag when uh, a lot of activity is going on and there's blocks moving around. Um, also, inside of the clocks, there are no repeaters. Uh, now you'll see a ton of repeaters on here, but they are all for getting the timing of the display correct, uh, for nothing really else other than that. So, not to prolong this any further, here it is. Uh, I'm going to put a download download link in the description. Um, but uh, what I have here is just a starting and an endpoint for a sample. Uh, I have the clock. This clock, uh, I'm not sure is is the perfect one. Um, it's one that I came up with that just seems to be very consistent, uh, quickly resets, and it doesn't burn out the uh, redstone. Um, and inside of each one of these counters, are um, there's, again, nothing but wire and torches. So, and that continues all the way down the line. Each brick represents one bit, or... Um, 0.2 seconds or 0.42 seconds uh, to the power of 2 to the power of 4 8 or I'm sorry to the power of 2 3 4 so uh, 2 4 8 16 32 64 bits or about uh, 27 seconds I believe um, and uh, it can be extended uh, quite a bit more than this I know there's a range a limited range on how far you can take redstone uh, but if you to, were to loop it back this way, it'd be 64 times longer or about 30 minute timer just by flipping this over the other direction, bringing it down and adding um, uh, six more bits. Um, and then you could take this bit, uh, run it through some math and do a nice little display. Um, and, and again, all of these ti red timers here, and you'll see when this, this, ma when this uh, rolls up to 100% here, when the when the clock rolls back to zero, um, they will all roll off at exactly the same time, um, and that's just so you don't get confusing results off. Um, uh, this over here um, resets the clock. Um, this here turns the clock on and off, so that stops the clock. And you'll see there's a delay in the time when it actually stops. Oops. You know what? Uh, hold on a second. I got two on and offs. Let me flip the, the stop here. <laughs> okay, well, apparently I've broken that and I haven't tested that part, but that should turn the clock off. Oh, I see what I did here. Um, stop my rent, but, okay, there goes, that stops, and so after a second or so, the clock will stop, this will reset it back to zero, and now it's not only stopped, it's reset to zero. Now, um, what, uh, what I have over here is uh, a T flip-flop, or, uh, or just a flip-flop, uh, and then an, um, a, a one and a zero down here, so if I pass through here, I run, 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 yeah, yeah, whatever, and I go through here, I should come out to about 10 if I recall. 
Um, so there I actually came out to um, uh, 2, 4, 8, um, 12. So, and I'm going to put that up to my video recording. Uh, so 12, that's roughly 6 seconds or so. Um, and yeah, there it is. Um, the design is, uh, that's just my on and gate here, comes, comes through. Uh, it is a, uh, a T flip flop, um, with, uh, here's my input that repeats on to the next one. Uh, and basically if it's a one, it comes back, if there's an output that's a one, and there's a pulse that comes through it goes one way and then chains up the link. Again, I'm not going to get too far into this um, because I'm going to go ahead and include the link for anybody who's really interested in it. Uh, I also think this can be optimized a little bit. Um, even as I'm looking at it right now, there's a couple components that be, could be uh, taken out. But this is strictly a proof of concept. Um, tell me what you guys think. This is really one of my first kind of redstone creations that didn't involve something exploding. Um, first one I've done in a long time. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, you know what? I'd be really, it'd be really impressed if I started seeing uh, stuff with these type of timers. Uh, again, I think this this clock can probably be sped up just a little bit uh, to exactly how much. I'm not sure. I'd have to go do the uh, math on uh, uh, ticks per second. All right, guys. Have a good evening.